Hey, what is up guys? It's Vinny Designs here with a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are excited for a brand new tutorial in Infinity Designer. Thank you so much to the person that recommended this tutorial on how to rotate objects around a circle. So in Infinity Designer, we have a quick way to do this and I'll show you how to create this gear icon. So the first thing is to create a circle. First, uh, just go to the circle tool from the uh, toolbar, click and drag and hold shift to create a proportionate circle like this and then uh, go to the top and convert it to a donut so that we have a ring or donut like shape. Now select the circle, then uh, go over to the top menu again. And now we have options available for the whole radius. And we just want to drop this to 45% so that we have more space within the ring. Now let's start creating the, the points around the circle. To do this, let's bring out the rectangle tool from the toolbar, click and drag out a rectangle. Um, something like this doesn't have to be perfect eyeball it and uh, drag out something like that um, and also make sure that the snapping tool or feature is enabled at the top It's a magnet at the top of the toolbar um, and then just snap it to the circle and then just position it to the bottom kind of like this so that it's like uh, within the circle and then push it back behind the first layer hold control or command and left bracket key to push it back like this so that the layer is behind the circle like that you can see that in the example, the top portions are indented inside. So to do that, what we will do is select this rectangle, then go to the top and convert it to curves. And that's going to allow us to edit the nodes or anchor points uh, on the edges like this. So go to the toolbar and select node tool and then select the left node like this Then use your right arrow key on the keyboard and nudge it to the right three times or how, however many times you want. One, two, three. Do the same thing with the right and move it to the left one two three there we go we had the first point done then duplicate this by hitting Control or command c then Control or command v on your keyboard to paste then hold shift and click and drag to the bottom like this then let's rotate this 180 degrees by clicking along the edge and holding shift like this so that we have a, a perfectly vertical opposite um, point then just position it similar to the one that's at the top uh, make sure the spacing is kind of accurate um, kind of like that. That's pretty good to me. Then select one of the points and go to the top bar and you'll see an option for enabling a transform origin. So when you enable that, you have this anchor point or kind of like this origin point, which you can click and hold shift and drag to the, to the bottom like this so that we can create a rotation point around the circle, right? So what this origin point is doing is basically allowing us to rotate this object around this circle. So if you don't have the snapping tool enabled, make sure it's enabled so that it snaps to the center like that. Then let's go ahead and select both of these rectangles like that. After you selected both of the points, then we want to duplicate these two rectangles. So just hit Control C, then Control V on your keyboard. Once they're both selected, let's move on to the transform panel at the bottom like this. If you don't see this transform panel, go to the view tab at the top, then go to studio and then you'll see the transform settings right there. You just click on it and it'll open up the uh, transform panel. Then go to the rotate text field and enter 45 degrees and the reason why we selected 45 degrees is because we want to rotate these points 45 degrees around the circle uh, the next step is to rotate these shapes so to do this we hit enter after you do that and we have a perfectly rotated object uh, now we want to keep doing this because we obviously want multiple nodes around the circle so just duplicate this again Control c Control v then go back to the rotation and hit 45 degrees again and do this a couple times so that you fill up the entire circle. Okay, so we've duplicated all the, the nodes or the points around the ring and we have a gear ready to go. It's all done. Uh, now, that was pretty quick to do. If you guys want to get a bit more creative, more fancier, I mean, create like a more vector like icon design. The trick is to combine all the points together to the circle so that we have like a seamless design like that. Uh, to do this, just select all the layers, just click and drag and select all the layers then go over to the top menu section and you can see that there's several options available there's add there's subtract and so on and we want to click on add and what that will do is just combine all the nodes and all the layers together and combine them unite them so that we have this perfect ring gear shape done 
So hopefully you guys learned something new. Thank you so much to the person, uh, I forgot your name, but thank you for recommending this tutorial and hopefully you learned how to create this design and were able to create something awesome today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe, enable the notifications so that you don't miss out on future tutorials. Let me know what you guys wanna learn. I've been doing a lot of web design recently, like website design. So if you guys wanna learn how to do that in Adobe XD or Figma, let me know and I will start creating some more web design content for you guys so that you can create some more complex designs for your clients or for school projects or anything that you want to do so thank you so much i'll see you guys later peace out